either they deceive themselves too much or they don't have nothing to talk because they don't learn anything, nothing that they are inside. You must be knowledgeable in your culture, in your people. Being Ghanaian, if you know your history, if you know so many things, so say when you open your mouth, you go feel know what to say. If you know be artist, like what you go do, that business, if you be fishing, you won't do. You must feel know everything about that business. It be knowledge will help you to get something talk when you meet somebody, right? Now, another section right below the essential activities as an artist, like I mentioned, it be your career assets. So you see, being a musician, like I always talk on this platform on Street Academia, number one thing be your brand. Your brand be your asset. It be your career asset. If your brand no be solid, your career go die out. And your brand, as you watch our previous videos, it be a combination of you, your music, how you talk, how you behave, the shadow you wear, the things you do, the logos you use. All they come to your brand. So those be your career assets. You for be very careful with them. And if you employ people, make them do those jobs for you. The reason why you, no go feel run your music business alone. So your brand or your reputation be very important. Your IP, intellectual property rights. Those be your those be your assets. If you know who they handle what. You understand? You understand? So your network also be very important. Who you know for this music industry inside? It be very important. That be also one of your assets. Now, your non-music skill sets, like I talk. If you know they do music, what you go feel do? Are you a plumber? You be Tyler? You must feel have something else. Bro, those be your assets. So say one day, when you make money, you know where to put your money. For example, if you be Tyler, you go start think about your tiling factory. Now I'm going to drink with your money. I'll go through for the strip club. <laughs> so your non-music skill set be very important. And then also your music skill set. You did wrong, you shan. I tell you, I always did talk. Most people will be artists, they shan rough. But they don't know say they shan. They fully say they did wrong. But they will approach you and talk to you some way, not be open to learn or to hear constructive criticisms. But they come to you like they did wrong already. So when you can when people like that come to you, there's nothing you go fit talk. What you go fit talk? There's nothing you can say than to keep quiet because you, you see yourself like you did wrong. So your music skill set be very important. Another thing you important way artists for them I know like the academic experience. Most artists for them, I don't like school. Not be like go regular school and go through. No, no, no. You know, see, even if you know go go through school, say, or you stop for SS or you stop for GSS, if you take take short, short, short courses, so say it will help you to know how the business to work, how to deal with people, communication and things. You understand? Another thing we uh, we look at be music value propositions. So your music value proposition if you another aspect of this business model canvas where they talk about your self-awareness most artists don't be self-aware of whatever they do Charlie they just want to do music they never be they don't know what, what they go on they don't be self-aware of their position and how powerful they are as artists there are people their empowerment level as artists how innovative you are your authenticity your connection to your roots who is the rep? Where is the rep? It be very important. Your corporate speaking skills. Like I talk, some people they put them on TV, you go hard to talk. Put them on some interviews, you go hard to talk. There are so many artists for Ghana, like I they talk, you put them on Breakfast Club, nothing there they go fit talk. It be sad. Another thing be your coolness, your reputation, and your prestige. Then your uniqueness. It be very important as an artist. So, so far, we, we look at your music business model, who you identify as your partners, the essential activities where you do as an artist, your assets where you have as a musician or an artist, and then we just look at your music value propositions, right? The next one be your communication relationships. Your communication relationships. When somebody meets you first as an artist, it meet you personally. What, how you they make the person they feel be very important. Most people they <laughs> cool. Some artists they when they blow, it be hard to get close to them. But at least 
when somebody shouts for the crowd you say, I say oh I like your music or can I take a picture with you or stuff like that and then people they behave like then they be human beings past the fans safe like the fans be lesser than them you know those kind of things are the personal interaction where they have with a fan or somebody you must be somebody where the fan will take a good reputation go so that be your communication another thing to be uh, uh, your automated reporting you understand like for facebook and since if somebody send you a message all those little little things or maybe uh this kind of messages where they, they will send your label and the automatic response all those things be very important if you know what you write and what, what you do for them now the next point be channels of communication being an artist if people want to communicate with you or get you to sing or be on an on a music platform or put you on a show or give you like an endorsement deal or whatever it is with 